Praxis Prepper. Everybody, this is Praxis. In this video, I want to talk about two different things. First, tonight at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time, the next episode of the Alien Invasion series here on this channel is going to be released. If you'd like to check that out, pop by at 8.30 and you'll be able to do that. If you'd like to help out uh, with producing those episodes, you can do that by going to patreon.com slash Praxis Prepper over there if you become a member for as little as a dollar a month. Not only do you get early access to all the videos as they're produced, they get released early over there, but you also get your name in the end credits. But if you just want to sit back and enjoy the show tonight at 8:30 Eastern Standard Time. The next episode is going to release here on this channel. In addition to that, I want to talk about crampons. Crampons are something that you can strap onto your boots. Uh, I think a lot of times people will associate crampons with mountain climbers, ice climbers up in the mountains, but they're also useful for all sorts of things. And especially where people here in this community are so interested in the idea of the bug out bag, you know, someday you may have to, you know, just break away from your house and bug out off into the woods so you can die out in the woods instead of dying back in your house. Cause I think that's a level of planning most people put into it. But if you have any kind of a sense that in an emergency situation, you may need to be kind of moving from one place to another and if some of that moving might be on foot it might be a really good idea to invest in the idea of maybe having crampons be part of your pack, especially if you're moving over the surface of the ground in winter. Uh, a lot of areas can be kind of slippery. Now, let's think that you are you know, leaving your house and you drive as far as you can and your car runs out of gas because all the gas stations aren't working. So, you know, you get to a certain point and then you kind of have to hoof it from there. That's one of the reasons actually that I think that a lot of times people will talk about like the ultimate bug out vehicle. Um, you know, when it comes down to it, I think a lot of us are going to have to be leaving whatever kind of ultimate bug out vehicle we had behind us because, you know, vehicles run on a certain amount of gas and you may need to get to a place that it doesn't matter how tough your truck is. Like this forest here, I, you know, I don't care what kind of truck you have, you can't just drive through a forest, you know? So if you live in an area where there are trees or other kind of natural impediments, you may be having to do some of your traveling, some of your bugging out on foot. And if that's the case and you're in the winter time, crampons can be a really useful tool. If you're walking across any kind of an area that has ice, ice can be really sort of treacherous. Uh, I've always grown up in the New England area. We've always got ice here every winter. You know, we're pretty well versed in it. You know, you can develop kind of a better sense of how to walk on ice, even just if, you know, in flip flops and sneakers. And certainly I, I know a lot of times I'm out shoveling here and I'm dressed kind of like this with shorts on. <laughs> you know, maybe I got like, you know, like my shorts on and like a sweater. And and, you know, maybe I just got my loafers on and, you know, you can develop a sense of how to walk more safely on ice. But if you really want to be safe when you're walking on ice, crampons are a great thing to have because the, the last thing, you know, people always say the last thing, but I'm just going to use the phrase anyway. The last thing that you want to have happen to you if you are, you know, trying to bug out, move from one place to another is to like fall down and get like an injury. Now, even if like you don't fall down and break a hip, you know, uh, although that is certainly a danger, you know, any kind of a fall down injury can be bad. Maybe you just break your bottle of water water that's in the side of your backpack or something like that. You know, falling down is generally more of a bad thing than it is a good thing. It's more of a liability than it is an asset. So anything you can do to kind of prevent that is probably a good idea. And crampons, I've uh, just recently started using them a lot more and it really feels great. You really feel like you are grabbing onto the ground. Uh, and it's not just for like, uh, uh, sheets of ice and things like if you're going down kind of a, a, a steep hill and let's say there's not ice there but it's just kind of snowy and slippery the crampons really grab into the hill and they can allow you to walk down a hill uh, that uh, otherwise you kind of have to be down on all, you know, all fours recently I went sledding with my boy uh, we went to a hill and you know it wasn't ice on the hill but it was uh, you know some uh, snow and there was you know some exposed ground and it was kind of wet and if I had needed to go down that hill just wearing sneakers on my feet uh, not only would the sneakers have gotten really wet, but also I kind of would have had to go down with uh, on my hands as well. I'd have to keep my gravity uh, center of mass uh, really low. And, you know, I probably would have gotten my butt kind of wet because there were some sections of that hill there. I, I probably would have had to slide down on my butt, but having crampons on, I was able to just walk over it. So think about it. Crampons can be a really cool additional asset to your bag. And they're not really that expensive. The ones that I've been showing in this video are ones that they just have kind of like a rubber uh, stretchy material and it's attached to the chains 
and you pull that over your average boot here. I, actually, I'll put a link to this in the description below to the ones uh, specifically that I'm using in this video, but you don't have to get those. They're all different types of uh, crampons. And um, in my experience, they hold up really well. My big concern when I was first getting these kind of crampons uh, that have the, the rubber stretchy material is I was like, well, you know, how many seasons are you really going to get out of that? Because, you know, these rubber kind of things are always kind of breaking down, they fall apart. And, uh, you know, I've been really surprised. I've uh, had them for uh, probably about three seasons now, three years, and um, they aren't showing any signs of decaying. Now, that doesn't mean that, you know, they're not eventually going to break down, but I've been pretty surprised that they've lasted as long as they have. And if, you know, you can just get a couple of them and once one breaks down, you can pop over the other one. I think it's a pretty cool technology because you can put it on any different boot that you want and they stretch on and go on really easily. So that's it. Crampons, I think they're a pretty cool idea. They've saved me from slipping and falling on a number, a number of occasions. And if you're interested in the same, you might want to check them out as well. And if you're just interested in Alien Invasion, 8.30 tonight, Eastern Standard Time, is going to be back on this channel. And again, if you want to help me keep those episodes coming, uh, patreon.com slash practice prepper, pop over there, get your name in the end credits of every episode that, you're, uh, that gets produced while you're a member, and also get early access to all the uh, episodes as they get released. That's it. Thanks for watching. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.